Hey there, it's Jonathan Edwards with lacrossegoalietips.com and Lacrosse Goal University and soon to be yourbestlacrosse.com. And I got a great question um, via email this week from uh, a dad who's a coach in, um, in New York. So uh, this is Coach John C. And um, so I don't, this, was, this question caught me off guard. So the question was, the first question that I got from him was, uh, hey, Jonathan, what's the maximum stick length for a women's goalie. And I had to think about that for a bit because I didn't know off the top of my head. So I looked I looked in the rule book and couldn't find anything about max stick length. Typically, um, if, if, if you've seen a max stick length, I've never had anybody ask me about maximum, like how long a stick could be. So my question back to Coach C here was, how tall is your goalie? <laughs> that was my first thought. Um, and uh, so he wrote back, he goes, um, he goes, uh, five foot one inch. Um, I coach my 13 year old and the sixth and eighth grade girl goalies. <coughs> I make them tap the side pipes to position themselves as the play comes to them. This way they don't take their eyes off the ball. I got my daughter a new goalie stick. It was two inches shorter and it left her missing the pipes, thus being out of position. In addition, I do teach a half field clear. The extra length comes into play there. So what he means by that is he, he, he teaches that he wants his goal is to be able to, to, to reach like half field with a pass. Um, and uh, so again, I'd figure you would know the max length. We can always cut it back if need be. Okay, so a couple things came to mind uh, when, I, um, uh, when I heard this question was, one, what are we trying to accomplish? Okay, so what, what are we trying, as goalies, what is our main responsibility? Okay, so our main responsibility is to stop the ball, okay? Our second responsibility is to clear the ball, okay? Um, there's, this argument has kind of raged for a long time on what's more important, to clear the ball or to stop the ball. Well, if you can't stop the ball, the ball goes in the net, the ball is automatically cleared to midfield, okay? And then there's a face-off. Um, so if we can stop more balls and clear the ball and then clear the ball with our team, whether it's our, our, our offensive players or our defensive players or what have you, <clears throat> we need to stop the ball. So let's address the first question, which is, well, actually, I'm going to address the second thing first. So half field clear, okay, with young goalies, all right, what I like to say minimally is that on the run, they can pass the ball beyond the restraining line. So for women's, that's, I mean, we're looking at like 20, 20, 25 yards, actually 20, 25 yards up field, okay, um, not the full, uh, 40 yards, we're going to, to midfield, okay? To, um, so, so going, trying to, trying to get a, a full half field clear, even from the crease, like standing still, like you're a quarterback and you're just bombing it, okay, as far as you can. Half field is pretty aggressive. Now, I understand if your team is weak and you're just trying to get the ball downfield to get the ball somewhere the heck down there so that you're not playing defense the whole game. I get that. I understand that. Um, but... I don't want to necessarily lengthen a stick just for that purpose. And here's why. Because when the goalie's in the cage, I mean, when the goalie's in the cage, then that extra length can hurt us when we're moving to the ball, okay? Especially with a goalie who's pretty short, in this case, who's five foot one. Okay, so I'm five, seven and a half, five eight on a good day. So what are we looking at? Like here, this tall? <clears throat> on my goalie sticks, um, I typically use a, an attack length shaft. Um, I started doing that really just one at a cost when I was young. I was like, you know, paying that extra, it was, it was a boatload of money to just go like a goalie length shaft. And I was like, why? Why? So I did a half length. Also, I did it because it fit in my bag better when I traveled, when I flew places. Um, but also, I was pretty strong. So the going with a shorter shaft allowed me, like I was okay. I could, I could huck the ball downfield. I could reach the opposite cage uh, by about my sophomore, my sophomore year of high school. Um, so anyway... So two things here. One is I don't necessarily want to have a really long shaft just to make it clear because I think it's going to affect me in the cage. But let's address the first question, which was the, um, that he, the, the coach tells the goalies to touch the pipes in order so that they can keep their eyes on the ball. So basically, um, if the goalie's in the cage, they're doing one of these, right? They're in their stance, and they're reaching back to touch the pipe so that they can keep their eyes on the field. I totally get that. I totally, I think that's a great, I think that's a good, um, a good goal to have. We want to have our goalies upfield and we want them 
uh, if they're going to touch the pipe, they're going to reach, but their eye, their vision up, up is up there. They're not looking back to wonder where the pipe is. That's fine. But <coughs> there's two ways to do this. One is, and I'm on a wide angle lens, so I'm going to get really close here. So if I if I take so if the the wall here is my um, goal line is my goal line, and I take a step out and I reach back with an attack length shaft, I'm not feeling that pipe. Okay. If I take a half step, I've got it, okay? So the question is this. If I take two inches off this shaft, and now I can't, I'm not touching this pipe here, I'm taking an inch back into the cage, only an inch to be able to reach that pipe, okay? So the, the step we're making away from the goal line is not a big one. I'm not losing a bit from... Now the wide angle lens, lens is going to actually make this look even more, um, uh, uh, more crazy. But as taking a, taking an inch step back to be able to touch that pipe, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So that being in mind, the other thing is this: is if I'm a goalie and I'm way out, I'm two steps out, I'm not feeling anything, right? <coughs> so as a goalie, it's a couple things. If we start in the cage, okay. And we're touching the pipe, and we step off the off of goal line extended. All right. Proprioceptively, okay, that's a big word, so go look it up. Okay, my hands and my shoulders are really feeling the difference. They're telling me how far away from the cage I am, and I'm not paying and I'm not paying attention to my feet. Okay, so what I like goalies to do is I like goalies to be back, touching the pipe. Okay. But then, when they step away from the cage, they do so without the stick touching the pipe as they do it. Does that make sense? All right. So instead of instead of being in this position and stepping out into position, okay, what I like goalies to do is they can feel the pipe to know if they're centered. Okay, so they're going to touch right pipe, left pipe. They know they're centered. All right. Now they're in position. Now they step out. So what that's done is now my feet and my hips have gotten used to just how far I need to go, as as well as where I need to go. So if I if I'm if the ball's coming, you know, side left, <coughs> and I'm gonna step out here, okay, I'm now learning. My feet are telling me and my hips are telling me how far I need to go. My eyes are up, my head's up. I can see what's going on. But instead of using my basically my stick as like a feeler, okay, I'm using my legs to tell me where to go, okay? So, now as you're young and you're learning about where your angles are, okay, and where you need to step to, right, that's why we have a coach shooting on us at angles in warm-up so that we know the coach, you know, if we, if we go out to, um, uh, like, let's say the camera and you're shooting at me from uh, side right, okay? So, I'm in my cage and I come out, I come out to you, but now I'm off center. What does coach tell you? Hey, move over. So now you readjust, okay? And now what I recommend, a lot of times a coach will just shoot right there. One of the things you can do to reinforce it is you say, okay, goalie, start in the middle of the cage, okay, start in the middle of the cage on every shot. Every shot. Now, you're looking up field straight, shots coming from side right, we're gonna step out, right? And hopefully we're in good position. All right, so and the coach is gonna adjust you, adjust the goalie every time you step. Another interesting way to do this, okay, <clears throat> this is better done in a gym or if you're on an astro turf field or a synthetic turf field, um, and this works too, but if you take hockey pucks, okay, take hockey pucks because they're flat and round and only about that high, okay, and put them in proper position for certain shots. So top center, you put, you put, uh, the, you put two pucks where the feet would be, okay, and what we're going to do as we step out to the puck is, again, eyes are up, looking out, all right? We're going to put two pucks down under our feet. So we're going to st stand in the right position, okay? Stand in the correct position for a shot coming straight at you. Stand in, in position. Now take two hockey pucks, lift your toes up so that they're up like this. Put the, the, put the hockey puck under your feet so that your feet are now standing on the pucks, all right? Now what I want you to do is step back to goal line to the goal line, all right? Get in position, all right? Now look left, look right, just get a little bit of a, of a reset going. Now step out to those pucks. 
And if you step properly, you're now on top of those pucks. And if you're not off balance, your foot's going to either rock right or rock left. Okay. So that's a good little technique, a good little drill to do. <coughs> and you can do that. You can make an arc like that so that a goalie knows where to put their feet. All right. Just to get the basics down. All right. You'll, you'll have a lot of pucks for that. I can't remember how many it is offhand. I'll have to figure that out for you guys. All right. So let's see. It's, uh, it's, there's one on the post, one on my left foot, and then I'm going to go. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten pucks or so, okay, to get your to, to know where your feet need to go, okay, so that you know where your arc is and you're not too high, too low. Because if you step too far out, your foot's gonna rock on the front of the puck. If you step step too far to the left or the right, it's gonna rock right or left. And and conversely, if you're if you're too shallow, okay. So that's a good that's a good drill, the hockey puck drill. So back to Coach C's question here, okay. So. At, for a goalie that's five foot one, what the heck was that? I got a moth in here. Sorry. <clears throat> so for a goalie who's five foot one, pretty short. You know, I'm not going too long with the shaft. All right. So asking max length, I'm like, holy smokes, what are they thinking? All right. Because when that goalie goes to um, step to the ball, all right, that butt end may catch on a knee, on the ground, all sorts of things. Also, it's pr- you got to be pretty strong to operate a stick that is. Um, uh, that is pretty. That is uh, that is this long to begin with. Okay, to get proper cradling, to have a good pocket in there. So I don't know if I would necessarily add length to a stick, because again, what's the goal? If we're just trying to get a clear going, then I'd rather I'd rather either shallow up the pocket a little bit, um, teach my goal because I, I most female goalies that I've seen, and no offense, but your goalie may be a, a stud or studette. All right, but I have yet to see a female goalie who on the run can huck the ball half field at 13. Um, that's a hell of a throw. Okay, so with any accuracy, let's put it that way too. Now, a goalie from here with all day thrown from the crease, sure, probably can, probably can make that. So anyway, let's not lengthen the shaft just to get that goal down. I'd rather say, okay, let's, 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 um, uh, let's leave the stick where it is. Let's teach maybe some better ways to work around the crease all right, to know where the goalie is within the, with, within, um, within the crease or being lined up for a shot. <coughs> Let's use the feet more as a gauge to tell us where we are. Okay, so instead of just reaching with the butt end, um, if you're coming off the pipe, okay, if you're coming off the pipe, you, that right, like the right foot is going to be on the, right, on the right side pipe, left foot on the left pipe. And a great way to make the most out of warm up is to take take five minutes, okay, and instead of have the goalie getting shot on from here and you work in an arc, let's have you here, okay, well, it's funny, my hand gets really big on this wide angle, sorry, my hands aren't really that big, <laughs> all right, so let's say you're going to shoot from there, let's have the goalie start on a pipe, all right, start on a pipe, and then step out to you, because now she's stepping out to the center, top center, all right. Now, if you're if you're a little bit, you know, if you're top left, now she's coming from the right pipe. She's gonna step out, and that at that point you're gonna say, "Hey, you're you're a little right, you're a little left," and then she's gonna reset, and then she's gonna come out and be a little bit more in the right position. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So <clears throat> there's lots of ways to teach um, where the goalie is in the cage, and again, don't make shortcuts in lieu of I would say not proper learning. That's not what the, that's not what I've got in mind here. But you know, by lengthening the shaft, that's a shortcut. Okay, um, I'd rather spend a little bit more time with our goalies and say, okay, listen, tonight I want you to step. I want you to imagine there's a shot here, and out you go. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's leave it at that for now because that's a lot. To, that's a lot to digest. If you got any questions on that, please feel free to email me or shoot a, shoot a comment below the video. <laughs> um, but um, that's uh, I think that should help a little bit. All right. And um, again, let's not make let's not make short term fixes for goalies who are probably going to grow potentially a little bit um, because uh, we may be creating ba- bad habits down the road. We, also, we want to break a goalie of uh, eventually of feeling for the pipes with the butt end too much. There's always going to be a little bit. All right. There's going to be a little bit, but we don't want goalies to be in position. And every time they step, they're touching. Okay. Really a goalie should be able to get out 
and then be moving, moving, and stepping, and stepping right, left, wherever they need, without feeling for the pipes all the time. Okay, that's super important. All right, because as the game speeds up for that goalie, that habit is going to catch up to them down the road. Okay, so thanks for your question, Coach C. Good luck with it. Keep me posted on how it goes, and um, and good luck to your daughter. And anybody else who's watching this and has got a question, feel free to email me at jonathan at lacrossegoalietips.com. Cheers.